Yeah. Did you have anything exciting happen this weekday? Of course I did. What happened? What? Fine. <laughs> this is, it's called Super Cola, and my friend me from work gave it to me, and she she said that it's good candy. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't really know. But Are they very super? I don't know. I think it's just cola candy. I think it sparkles or something in your mouth. This doesn't sound exciting. I know, it doesn't sound exciting, but hey, Aaron, you should come have one, too. Are we doing like a one, two, three? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like a Wait, you ready? Three, two, one, one, six. Sour. Do you like sour candy? No, I hate sour candy. Oh, that's good. Put so far, I hate Ooh. this. I think it's great. <laughs> that's that's really getting better. I enjoy it. Oh. It tastes... Oh, and all the sour's gone. I chewed it. Oh my god! <laughs> is there sour in the middle? It's awesome in the middle. It sparkles. Does it really sparkle in yeah. the middle? Yeah. It's like a fireworks stand in my mouth. It's oh. Super Cola! America was not discovered in 1985. David, no, listen, just listen to Dance was discovered in 1985. <laughs> <laughs> no. Emilio Estevez. Uh-huh. He, he discovered uh, he the dis Mighty Ducks in no. 1985. You just ruined my story. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep that in for my wife. That's the worst sound in the world to her. <laughs> um, oh, but I did learn something <laughs> this week. Oh, that's good. Um, you know what I learned? What? You can't say no. something and then not say something. <laughs> Make me stop. <laughs> I will literally punch you on camera. My cousin's on Facebook, and I was reading a post, my cousin Mark, and uh, last year he went to Alaska to... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I haven't even told the story yet. What are you going to Alaskan? <laughs> I'm not going to Alaska nothing. No, he went... There was a um, yeah, okay. an animal that was I'm thought listening. to be extinct, and he went over there to study it. Yeah, as part of his uh, college program. <laughs> and he's wait, it's extinct. No, they thought it was extinct. And if, they if found it, so he went over to check it out. Because well, then it's obviously not extinct. Yes, but <laughs> there are sometimes animals that that they think go extinct because they don't see them for a very long time, Dave. Maybe they're and just And then all sleeping. of a sudden, there's one over there. Yeah. Apparently, mm -hmm. this animal is where a lot of the Yeti stories come from. So, like, the abominable snowman and all that. The, the, the nominal snowman? The, nom <laughs> the nominal snowman. It's, it's, not, it's not that great. It's just nominal. It's nominal. It's not that great. <laughs> I've seen better. Yeah, so he, he studied for six months. He did, he, I, I don't think he actually got to see it, except for some pictures that the, uh, I think they're Inuit people. I don't know what that they call it over there. <laughs> so, wait, wait. So, what you're saying is he went to study <clears throat> an, ex, an extinguished... Uh, yeah, an extinguished animal. animal. Yeah. It was on fire, they extinguished it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. He went to go study an animal that they thought was it didn't exist anymore, uh -huh. but he never saw it. <laughs> he saw pictures so, of it. So, how do you know it actually exists? <laughs> I, I guess he had to take the, the, uh, the Eskimos' word for it. But it's, uh, oh, I didn't even tell you what it was called. It's, it's the Alaskan uh, silver-backed tree bear. I was gonna. <laughs> Holy yes. cow! Did you break something? I almost died. Me. Please, please don't break. That stuff's valuable. I shouldn't have given you the dart gun. <laughs> it's my own fault. Do whatever you want. No, she. Been... <laughs> Should we do another album review? That was fun. No, I don't want to do that. Well, I'm gonna do it because you didn't prepare anything, <laughs> and you're leaving it up to me. This guy's name is Leon Russell. Um, did you just shoot Leon in the head? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is Leon Russell. Um, I think it's a self-titled album. Well, I would, if I was to, uh, self-title my own album, mm -hmm. it would be, um, yeah. It should be Dave. No, I would call it The. That's terrible. A stupid thing. No, it would Why be, would you it say like, that? If you're gonna self-title something, this guy looks like the kind of person who drives around in a van with ice cream. Am I right? <laughs> like he—he he looks like a really good ice cream man. Like he loves his job. Right. I have nothing against those people. I got ice cream. <laughs> That's what he sounds the children like. Children eat the ice cream. He eats the children. Yeah, he does. He turns them into kid soup. See, there's a little-known fact about Leon Russell. 
He loves egg cartons. He's, no, he's a huge fan of eggs. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, there's actually an egg right there <laughs> with a Superman symbol on it. Yeah, it's upside down. Super so man. that's anti Superman. Oh, I can tell he's anti a lot of things, this Leon Russell guy. He's scary. You don't know why they don't do artwork for albums anymore? No, no, no. Like for just a, an MP3. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Such a jerk. Oh. What's a tiny dragon? No. Oh, is that Pete's dragon? No, it's Steve's dragon. It was in my nose. Mama. Don't worry. No, it's cool. I'm I'm gonna tune it because, you know, <laughs> I'm a real musician. <laughs> I I can't tune my ear. You're so mean today. Oh. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> No, you were terrible. I was amazing. <laughs> Terribly amazing. It's a beautiful song. My aunt has flee. It's a hit. <laughs> you you can't play with me if we're out of tune. You're not in tune. <laughs> Stick to a string and tune it. There, stop. Don't move. You moved it again. What the heck is your problem? What's your problem? <laughs> Why can't you do No, this? you got some weak darts in there, man. <laughs> you should go see a doctor about that. <laughs> Close enough. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. There, stop. Stop. That's it. Okay. Wait. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you doing? Oh, that's what we should do. Ow! <laughs> Let me see. Let me see it. Let me see it. Hold on. This is what we should do. We should um shoot it into the face. <laughs> you want to play Russian roulette? That's exactly what I was thinking we should uh, do. Yes. No, you have to close your eyes. So what? We spin it. We spin it. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, oh yes. Is that not how ru Russian roulette works? <laughs> What? <laughs> that... No. Oh. You're supposed to shoot yourself. Well, why would I shoot myself? That's stupid. Did you hit? Don't ever play this game because you'll die. <laughs> okay. Nice. See, you're amazing. <laughs> I'd be dead so many times already. You would have won. I don't want to play anyway. this game anymore. Anyway. <laughs> is that how you win? Is you die? Uh. What are you doing with your finger? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> this is how I remember too. <laughs> this is how I remember. Uh, my rush. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I remember now. Customer. He was a customer. <laughs> uh, when I used to work at a coffee shop, I uh, had this guy named Vic that would come in, and he would order an extra hot shot mocha. Would could I buy a, a mocha? Mocha. A extra mocha. hot extra. Extra hot, extra milk. hot mocha. Extra hot mocha. So after after making his drink for about a year, and he always came in real nice dressed, and right. he always had a different like fancy car. After a year of serving and making his drink, I, I you know he's kind of you know he didn't say a lot. He was just this quiet, right, because he's just guy. He's Russian. Yeah. So I said, Hey Vic, uh, what do you do for a living? And he goes, I work. And I said, All right, here's your drink. And I never said anything to him again because I didn't want to get killed. Yeah. This is what I think. He's either. Uh, a car salesman, right? Which is where he would have access to all of those cars, right? Or he's an arms dealer. That's really the only two options for or he, Vic. Or he's a valet. <laughs> oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> that would explain the same suit every single day. <laughs> and the little tags. Mm -hmm. Are the Russians famous for ballet? Mm -hmm. they, <laughs> Apparently they, we've got an uh, animated they, dog back there. <laughs> 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 Aaron's an animated dog. Huh? I think maybe just a tail... Just it, just regular tail. clothes. Well, yeah, it's, tails it's, and some little ears coming out of your beanie. That's the whole point. It's a short story. Of you course, know, it's a tail. Pretty soon we're gonna have. That's a terrible, Dave. Suit. It's not a funny joke. <laughs> I don't like those jokes. <laughs> I might just quit this all right now. American tail jokes like that. <laughs> those are those are crap jokes. So I, this is an interview. This is the worst interview. In fact, you know what? This is the worst interview of my life, except. What stuff. brings you here today? It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Aaron's having a stroke. What brought you to put 
eye hole ear things in there. You look like you're trying to get a cord through your ear and you just you don't want it well, to fall out of place. That's where I that's where I put my headphones. Oh, I'm serious? Yeah, so I don't lose my headphones. Those weird looking little things that look like little stupid sticks coming out of your face. Wireless headphones don't exist. Like Thank you. The world according to Mr. Rogers. Understanding love is one of the hardest things in the world. Thanks, Mr. Rogers. 